when the emphasis became on that instead of me and the money, our business exploded and the money flowed in like milk and honey. This is, is the Kevin Trudeau Show. I am exposing the corruption in government and in major multinational corporations. We're telling you the things that they don't want you to know that will make your life better. Hi, Kevin. This is Amanda Mance Wilkinson from Cleveland, Ohio. How are you today? I'm wonderful, Amanda. How are you? Loving life. So glad to be here. Good. Question I want to start with uh, a few comments and then a question, if okay. that's all right. Yeah. I'd like to start by saying thank you for all that you do and all that you are. I love you, and I am so glad that you are here. Uh, to the audience, if you aren't a part of the Global Information Network yet, what are you waiting for? Please go check out the website, globalinformationnetwork.com. You're We'd a shill. Be so happy to have you. You're, you're a shill, right? You're <laughs> a shill. That's what they're going to write on the comments. They're saying, oh, he set these calls up. Exactly. Yeah, I don't... We could add a couple more zeros. We'll talk it out <laughs> after the call. <laughs> Uh, you're not a, you're so not a getting shill. into the question. Tell it, no, first, tell everybody you're not a shill. That I, you, you, you're not a setup yeah. at all. Not at all. This is a legitimate promotion. I've been a part of the Global Information Network for a couple of years now, and I can tell you from personal experience, my life has 180'd for the better. You will be very glad that you pulled the trigger and made the decision to be a part of this club. You will have people in your life that last caller, when you said that they're not having the opportunity to spend time with like-minded individuals, if you're a part of the club, get in the get in the communication boards, get on the Telegram channels. You've got a community. You will be surrounded with like-minded people who are changing the world if you join the Global Information Network. Yeah, you can be this part. It's not the, a paid promotion. The, 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 it's not a paid promotion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we have virtual chapter meetings, even if there's no local chapter. You know, there's big local chapters in Chicago and mm -hmm. Toronto and France. We have big local chapters where people meet. But we also have virtual chapter meetings where you can meet people who speak your language and get their phone number and email address. So you have people that you can reach out to and talk to and befriend, even if they're not local, right? That's right. Yeah, it's very accessible. I've got friends all over the world now. Good, good, good. And your question? Yes. So I am authoring a New York Times best-selling children's book series. I'll link my Venmo and Cash App in the comments if anybody wants to donate and activate their power of giving. Uh, with that being the chief aim, Kevin, what steps would you specifically take as someone who has had a number one for 26 weeks in a row to ensure this reality? And what resources would you recommend for me? This is a great question. Because people always want to know, Kevin, you came up with the book Natural Cures. They don't want you to know about, which was number one on the New York Times list for 26 weeks in a row. So sold tens of millions of copies in hardcover. Keep that in mind. It was full price hardcover. It was the number one best-selling book in all of America the year that it came out. So how did I achieve that? Number one, I did not have a goal of it even being on the New York Times bestselling list. Forget about having a goal of being at number one. I didn't even have a goal of having it on the, number, on the New York Times bestselling list. I did not have a goal of, of having the accolade of being the bestselling book in America. The reason it became so successful is when most people set goals, it's about themselves, what you're going to get out of it. The accolades, the praise, the recognition, being invited on talk shows, given awards, a plaque, a trophy, all the things that you're going to receive if you hit your target. And when people write books, as an example, wanting to be a number one New York Times bestseller, and most people just want to be a New York Times bestseller. And they set that goal. And then they have celebration parties. And they, they get up and, I want to thank everyone who's helped me. And it's all about them. I didn't have any of those aspirations. The reason the book sold is because I wrote the book to help change people's lives. I didn't write the book to become a New York Times bestseller. 
I didn't write the book to be a number one bestseller. I didn't write the book to send t sell tens of millions of copies. I didn't write the book for any of those reasons. I wrote the book to help improve the quality of people's lives. And I gave any profits away to charity. People forget that. In the, in the cover of the book, it says all royalties go. I don't get a penny in royalties on the book. I never got a penny in royalties on the book. I didn't do it for me. I did it for the people. And this is very significant. When I was in the memory training business way back in the 80s, I got in that business because I, I wanted to make some money and I thought this was a great course that could help people. Okay, those two objectives are good. And when I got in, we were making ridiculous money and I wanted to make more money. And one day I was teaching a seminar, a workshop on memory improvement. And at the break, several other people came up and they were almost in tears saying, this is life changing. My daughter's here, she has brightened up. She was so depressed, she hated school. She didn't want to go to school because she couldn't remember anything. She learned yesterday how to remember over 100 things, forwards, backwards, in and out of order in the class. And Kevin, she went home and she committed to memory all 50 states and their capitals. And she went into school and told her teacher what she could do. Teacher didn't believe her, and so she showed her. And the teacher was just blown away. She goes, my daughter's self-esteem and self-confidence is so high, it's going to positively impact her for the rest of her life. And I wanted to thank you, Kevin. At that moment, I went back to teaching the class, and I wasn't thinking about how much money I'm going to make if people in the room purchase another course, the advanced course, or something like that. I thought, what can I do to make this seminar workshop better? What can I do to positively impact more people's lives? I went back to the office in Bensonville, Illinois. I actually drove by our building, which is condemned now. This was back in the 80s. And I said, that's where we had our first office. And I sat down with the st staff and I said, I want everyone to put their thinking caps on. What can we do to make the workshop better for our customers? And what can we do to positively improve and impact their life more? When the emphasis became on that, instead of me and the money, our business exploded and the money flowed in like milk and honey. I mean, money flowed like lava. You couldn't stop it. And so the thing I will tell you and anybody else when you're setting goals and objectives is how are other people going to be positively impacted if you hit that goal? Athletes, when they're trying to win an Olympic gold medal, invariably when the athlete says, I want to win the gold, and they have that goal for themselves, that they want to win the gold medal, they invariably don't win it. But when they say, I want to win the gold for my country and my community, or my race, or my religion, or when they're thinking about their victory, their attaining their goal is going to positively impact all these other people in groups. Those are the people that invariably win more often than not. So think about that and you will win. I know you will because I can feel it in your heart. You're a wonderful, beautiful person and you have really uh, a beautiful objective in terms of helping children with your book series. So good luck with that. Hi, I'm Kevin Trudeau. This is everything they don't want you to know about to improve the quality of your life. Broadcasting every Monday and Wednesday, two days a week now, Monday and Wednesday at one o'clock Chicago time. Make sure you tune in and subscribe to the channel and share these shows with everyone you know.